Sri Lanka, the land of the small miracles. This is the term people use to describe Sri Lanka. And to be honest, I never really understood why until I went there. And I fell in love with the beauty and diversity of this country. But while traveling through Sri Lanka, I saw a lot of poverty and pollution. Plastic trash was basically lying everywhere. People just threw it into the streets without even knowing its value. Like this, polluting their own beautiful country. On the other hand, many people live in the streets and don't know how to feed their children. They're socially excluded or unemployed. They simply want to improve their living situation or provide a better future to their children. So we wondered, how can we contribute? How can we include the excluded? How can we save the nature? And how can we teach people the value of plastic? And this is our solution, Mary Jan. This is our social startup that turns plastic into visions. Mary Jan is Hindi and means my darling, my heart, my life. And to me, in my life, it is very important that I can give back to people and that I can fight for a cleaner planet. To achieve this, it's a very, very long way to go. And Mary Jan is the first step towards a sustainable planet. Here in Germany, we use a deposit system for plastic bottles. We take the plastic bottles back to the supermarket and get some cash in return. We take this idea and transfer it to plastic in general. And like this, change people's understanding of plastic in the long term. How do we do that? We pay people per collected kilogram plastic. We wash the plastic, we organize the plastic, and we recycle the plastic into new products. Therefore, we need to shredder the plastic into small flakes and then melt the flakes into new products. And these products will be sold at the local market at a fair price. And like this, we create jobs and a sustainable product cycle. But also, we change people's understanding of plastic as a resource in the long term. First, by adding a value to it, by paying people to collect the plastic trash that's lying around. And second, by teaching the people how to reuse and how to recycle the plastic. And like this, reduce the overall plastic reduction. So apart from committing my life to plastic trash, I'm also a kite surfer. And I've kite surfed a lot in Sri Lanka. And this is how we met our first business connection. His name is Dil and he owns a kite surfing camp in the community of Kalpitya in Sri Lanka. And kite surfing is also um, the reason that inspired us for our first product, as you can see here, it's a kiteboard holder. You can put two of those on the wall and place the kiteboard on top. And you might know this from cyclists, for example, who sometimes store their bicycles on the wall to save some space or because they're very proud of the bicycle. And to produce those kiteboard holders, we use machines from Precious Plastic. It's a Dutch guy who provides technical drawings and step-by-step -step tutorials for these uh, low-budget recycling machines. And here you can see a shredder and an injector machine that we'll be using. In March, we start to build our first machines and the infrastructure in Sri Lanka. Because at the moment, there's no recycling infrastructure in the community of Kalpitya at all. So that means we'll also hold workshops at schools and teach people the value of a clean environment, as beautiful as the one you can see in the picture. You might wonder what sets us apart from the other plastic businesses that recently popped up. Well, we collect the plastic trash and we directly recycle it into new products and sell those products at the local market. We don't simply produce pallets and sell them off to other companies or countries. We keep the value-adding process locally in the community and create a closed product cycle. 
we have a scaled environmental impact and apply lean processes. So all in all, we combine environmental protection and development policies. We also think big. We're currently working on corporations with Colombia, with Ghana, with Guatemala and the Philippines. We would like to improve, include health treatments and insurances. But we also have a variety of products in mind. We're thinking of producing virtual reality glasses or as simple as hangers. Although we're still in pre-founding stage, this is not a new idea. Because already in 2016, we've pitched this idea at United Nations in New York in a social venture challenge. And we made it until the final. And since then, this idea has been challenged and shaped. Today, we are a great team of five engineer girls. So Lisa, Fabian, and I are engineers with business background. Yoyo works on social media and marketing. And Maria works on our environmental conceptual designs. Plastic trash is a problem that concerns all of us. And that is why we need your support to make plastic recycling possible all over the world. Because together, we could make a little miracle become true in Sri Lanka. <laughs>